overpriced flowers on the floor where they belong. I'm sorry, Leanne. I hardly know you. It's all right. The Warners and I are like family. But what, what happened next? Well, Chris was furious at Liam and... Well, naturally, you, you can't run a hospital without power. And I was terrified for Chris because of his health. Oh, mm, his heart. Well, not just that. What, there's more? More than cardiac? And then we found Liam just lying there. The blood. Blood? And the empty pill bottles oh, and... Oh, no. I thought he was dead. Oh, dear. But you, your, your husband tried to kill himself because he... He let us down with the lights. Oh, no, no, it wasn't that. It was... It was more than that. Yeah, well, of course, the, the, the power's back on. Um, well, and so Liam must have done something right, or one of his workers did. Or was this the, is this the main power back on? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't really know what's happening. I'm a bit, I'm a bit shocked. Poor Liam. Poor you. Poor Chris. I could have stopped it. Hmm? I could have done something. Well, we all look back trying to make sense of things, wondering if we missed some sign, any hint, but, you know, that someone that we care about could feel so lost that they would... Oh, that they would try such a terrible thing. No, there were no hints. How yeah, exactly? He told me straight to my face. Told you what? That he tried to kill himself. Oh, dear. What did you do? I ignored him. Ignored him? I just walked away. Oh, I dear. just didn't believe him, that's why. Oh, I mean, Vivian, you work for a mental health charity, Chris's mental health charity. You should know better. So what did Chris say when you told him? He doesn't know. He doesn't... He's going to hate me. You've been... Oh, there you are. I said, there you are! Huh? What? Oh, Sorry? Loitering around the cafe when you shouldn't even be here. Oh, must have dozed off. Yeah, well, can you do it at home? Well, I would much rather be with my darling Roz. Thank you very much. But I can't get there, can I, in the storm? Right, so you just... Stay here and stir up trouble between me and Damo. You're not still going on about your silly wedding, are you? Look, I was too shocked before, but now I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. Are you sure you have a piece to spare? Stop poisoning Damo against me. Any poisoning is being done by you and your greedy, grasping attitude. Look, I only want what every woman wants. Two helicopters. That's ridiculous. Don't judge me. Actually, I will, Desi. You're a bully. I've already told you, Leanne. Keep your nose out of my business. And I've already told you to stop pressuring Damo. You can only push a man so far. Oh, pfft. They need to be pushed, otherwise you end up with squash. Oh, can you hear yourself? All I can hear is a hypocrite telling me how to handle men. Oh, how am I a hypocrite? Because men are hard work and you gave up and you went all lazy lazy, didn't you? I found love. Thank you very much. You gave up. You gave up, and now you won't shut up about me and my man and my wedding. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah, well, I doubt that. This is your last warning. Okay, so she's...